Hey guys, made you wait a while, but I promised it and here it is. This is finally part two of the Kodep Stratoline slash EM series 52 inch ceiling fan. So I covered most of the information about this fan in my last video, but just in case you haven't watched that video, this fan is made by Kodep. It's a copy of Hunter's Comfort Breeze, and it is a flush mount only ceiling fan. You cannot mount it with a down rod. Um, this fan has reversible stencil and plain blades, and it also has a five light kit. Um, this fan was made probably in the 1980s, not quite sure when exactly. I showed you the label in my previous video. Um, it's 52 inches with a polished brass finish, and yeah. I finally got it hanging up here. As you all know, I could not hang it because I did not get the mounting bracket when I initially got it. But I finally got the mounting bracket, and here we are. Um, so... The light kit on it is a, well, it's the same light kit, but the, I have a different center globe on it because I accidentally broke the other center globe, the oval globe. I was saying maybe I have bad luck with oval globes because I've already broken two oval globes. But this one I just bought from Lowe's and it looks really nice. It has the flower design on the side. I have five incandescent, or no, I have five halogen incandescent light bulbs. They're halogen, but they're like, they... I call them incandescent mocking halogens. And I'll show you the light kit for you. There's what it looks like. You can see. It looks really nice, that center globe, in my opinion. If I can get it to... There we go. Okay. It does a good job of lighting up this area, so it certainly, certainly does. Um, a few... Um things about it. The mounting isn't, the mounting bracket system is similar to a hunter low profile in that the bracket is a piece of metal that's about maybe, hmm, maybe about that long, or no, maybe about this long. And there's a square notch on it, and there's a square, square hanger well, I can't call it a ball, but a square hanger joint coming out of the fan motor that you hang in that portion, kind of like on a hunter low profile. A hunter low profile, two, three, four, etc. But that goes on there, and then there's this canopy here. It's a two-piece canopy. This part is only decorative, and this part is actually... Um, well, I guess this part's also decorative, but this part actually screws up to the bracket. So it's really strange. I'd never seen one quite like it, or never, never had this style mounting. There's a little gap there. I'm not sure if I'm maybe missing something, missing a piece, or that's the way it's supposed to come. But it wobbles. I mean, in the mount. Not sure if that's normal, if, or once again, if I'm missing a piece for the mounting bracket. Um, yeah. I did clean the blades up a little bit. I they had a lot of dust and grime on here because they this fan was installed in the kitchen, so you know grease from the kitchen. But I cleaned it up. They look really nice. The stencil, of course, if I can get to a point where the stencil will glare for you. There you go, the stencil. Um, so yeah, another problem I've been having is that the switch housing is still quite wobbly and well it turns around occasionally. So. Another problem I've been having. Um, but anyway, so I guess we will go ahead and start the fan up on high speed. And I put a pull chain extension on it right here, a longer one. This is the original pull chain extension that I had been told it used to be a tassel, but of course the tassel is probably long gone. I put this pull chain extension on it because if I didn't, it would just knock against the globe and it'd be really annoying. So, start it up on high. really good. This fan is powerful. Very powerful. It blows a lot of air. Move that over for a second. 
It's pretty quiet too. It's a little wobbly, but you know. And I'll turn the light on for you. Show you it on high with the light. lights flickering. Okay, light out. That light bulb is scaring me. That light bulb was flickering. Why don't I just unscrew that for a second? Because that, well actually, yeah, it's still flickering. Okay, well, you saw the light kit. Well, I'm not going to turn it on again. That light bulb is flickering, so turn down the medium. Step outside for a second. The vibration sound you're hearing is a little bit of a little bit of a noise. It's probably coming from the light globes. They're kind of on a little loose. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. This fan vibrates a lot. It's one thing I did. one of the very few things I don't like about it. Okay, it's still blowing a lot of air, so it's low speed. Fin is a pretty good low speed. I think I mentioned that in my other video. Side here. Okay. And we'll shut it off. And I just stop it with my hand. And now, let's find the reverse switch, and there it is, and we will reverse it, and start it up, start it up this time on low. I'm really excited because this is the first time I get to see how this fan performs actually hanging up. And so far, I'm pretty impressed. It's a very inter very unique fan it is. I was not expecting it to be this unique. But I like it. Oh, I can feel a good deal of air coming over here. And medium. There's a view from the top. Let's get a view from the other side. This isn't the best because then the light is coming right at me. That's a pretty good view, I guess. Good view of the motor. I like this medium speed a lot. Okay, and finally, high speed. Get the air moving in here. Well, certainly is powerful enough. You can feel a lot of air coming out over and coming down from here. Once again, that 
vibrating noise. Oops, let's drop the camera. Okay. And, well, I guess we can spin it down. Like I said, I don't really like spin downs, but I guess the people like it, so. It's a miracle that this thing looks almost exactly like the Comfort Breeze. Well, not exactly, but very similar to. And yet, it's so different. In fact, when I first saw the picture of it, I thought it was a Comfort Breeze. Then I realized how different it was. Because first off, a Comfort Breeze would not have that switch housing. And it would also, a four-bladed one would have C-blade arms and a five-bladed one would have these crescent blade arms. And it would also not be flush mounted. So, just a very, very unique fan. And I really do like it. And I'm assuming this fan is pretty rare because I searched it up online, could not find anything on it. Could not find anything on the Strato line or the... Well, I found some stuff on the EM series, but it was a different fan. Apparently, Kodap branded quite a few fans EM series. But found almost nothing for Strato line. When I searched Kodap Strato line, I got, like, car parts and things. So... It's a very different fan. This is not something you see a lot. And it's just about to stop, it looks like. And there. Uh, it's almost stopped. Okay, there, now it's stopped. Okay. So, that is, I guess that's it. That is my Kodap EM Series Stratoline ceiling fan. Copy of the Hunter Comfort Breeze. Thank you for watching, and more to come. Bye.